Hey guys and welcome. Welcome to another segment of Rousal World. Uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is a quick cartoon drawing of uh, Dr. Phil. So uh, we can all use a little Dr. Phil in our lives to help us uh, straighten ourselves out. <laughs> right? So guys, uh, what I'm going to get a start with is my uh, basic head shape. So uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that um, I always emphasize the head shape because once you draw the head shape correctly, the rest of the drawing is uh, pretty uh, easy from there. So let's go ahead and um, get our demonstration going. So I'm going to start here with the uh, pretty much the cheekbone here. Now I'm going to draw the top head shape here. So it's kind of bulbs out a little bit here, so I don't want to make that shape too long. Okay, and then we'll just add like a little bit of hair over here. Okay, and then we'll do a little few more strands there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Now guys, what we're gonna go to next is the ears. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the ears real quick. Oh, just one ear because it's like a little bit of a three quarter view. How awesome, how awesome. Some age lines here. Now, we're gonna go to the facial features, okay? So for the facial features, generally I'm gonna draw from top to bottom, left to right, but you can develop your own system. I generally draw that way because it's just my personal preference. It doesn't mean that that's an ironclad way that you have to start. What I recommend is that you start where the picture grabs you at. In other words, um, if you see a strong feature and you wanna start there, then it, and, and it helps you to be able to put the picture together in your mind, hey, whatever works for you. Let's go ahead and get started on those eyes. So I'll do something like this. Okay, and I'm going to add the nose here. So I usually start with the bridge of the nose or the, the middle part of the nose here or the bottom half. This way I'll know how long I need to make my actual uh, bridge of the nose here. And if you want to exaggerate a little bit, hey, you know, it's your cartoon. You can do what you want to. Okay. And now what I'll do here is I'll just add my smile. So I'll start by uh, kind of outlining where I want it to go. So I'll usually kind of draw the small lines here and then from there we can just kind of add the mustache because you see the mustache will kind of cover up the top lip just a little so we can put that in there you see how we did that so now all we have to do is just bring it around like this and you can see maybe a little hint of it there Okay. 
analysis at her, the teeth. So with the teeth, I'll just use a basic shape once again. I can see he has very uh, squared off teeth. So you just want to get an idea of how the teeth are shaped and then draw the idea of it. So if it's a square or people that have very perfect teeth and you want to keep those front two teeth very square, right? See how square they are? And all of my shapes kind of look very square. And I'll add like a hint of the uh, the uh, gum line there. Okay, so let's add dimples. This is where we add the uh, small lines and stuff. So we'll just do that. And I'll just add a few little age lines here. Maybe a few forehead lines and I'll make those pretty thin. All right. And... Uh, Man, look at there. We have a pretty good drawing of him. And uh, that didn't take long at all. All right. Had a few little stray hairs here. And then what we can do also is we can just start doing our eyebrows here. Okay. Awesome. Let me add some shoulders here, and we'll add the rest of the jacket. And it uh, looks like he has some kind of power tie on there. I can't really, oh, it's not a power tie because it's not red, first of all, but he has some designs there. So I'll just, you know, put a few designs. And uh, pretty much, guys, we got our drawing down to a science. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll start shading the drawing in. So I generally like to use a gray marker to do the shading. So I'll take this marker here and maybe I'll add just a little bit of a shade to the eye, not much because he has light colored eyes so we don't want to take away from that. I do like to emphasize the bridge of the nose with my gray marker. I find that it makes a very cool little transition and brings that caricature out a lot. Um, and maybe I'll go over the smile lines as well. And then what I'll do here is I'll add a little bit of shade here to the side of the face. Just a small sparing amount. And also to the hair on that side. He has gray here, so we'll just kind of make it gray here. Okay. And let's just put that cleft in the chin there. And wow, that looks like we got a really Cool drawing there. All right, and let's darken in those eyebrows just a little bit here, and then we're gonna come back here with our black, and this is just a big poster marker, and generally I'll use this to do quick coloring job so you can see here I like to play with the contrast in my drawings alright add a little bit of dark here just a little bit here and a little bit here okay so pretty much guys we have our drawing down to a science so what we'll do is we'll now oh wait what we'll do now is we'll just put the name here of course you know we got doctor as a cartoon 
put my name here. Always don't forget to sign your work. And there you have it, guys. So we have a quick cartoon drawing. We, we accomplish this pretty easily. We use very basic, easy shapes. You want to master that forehead shape or look at or master that head shape. Uh, those head shapes are going to be so important to you guys getting down this caricature thing. Once you learn those head shapes, it's going to really, really, really um, get easier for you as you go along. So practice up, guys. Uh, keep that pencil of moving. If you'd like to see your favorite celebrity drawn and featured on our show, give me a holler. And I'll put you on the request list, and uh, we'll see if we can get you drawn. I also do, do commission drawings, by the way. I know I get a lot of uh, requests for uh, drawings. So if you ever want me to draw maybe a family member or something like that, they are done on commission. I don't draw for free. Unfortunately, I can't. I have to uh, report to the wife, and she, I don't think she'd like that very much. <laughs> so uh, you, if you have a uh, uh, want me to do a commission drawing for you, maybe put a bunch of people together in one picture like a family or something like that, I can do those for you, and I do ship those. So all you have to do is uh, real quick, let me... Um, take my page away here once again dr. Phil and uh, I'm gonna write this down for you guys so you can see so all you have to do is just send your request to um, browser world at yahoo.com or you can go to our website at rouseaworld at or rouseaworld.com. Okay. So guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching our video and tutorial today. We'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. And uh, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Once again, let me just put that there for you so you guys can see browserworld.com or at yahoo.com. Okay? Have a great one, guys.